so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um it's been i was about to say how long it's been because um it always is quite a while i think it's been like a week or two i'm very sorry um but i was very sick last week which is why i didn't film a video and um i just kind of got ready today and i was like you know what i'm gonna film a video i'm sorry if the lighting's not good my hair's very messy i straightened it yesterday and i went to london and the rain just poured heavily on my head so my hair's a bit of, but it's okay because we're going to deal with it and today's video is one that has been highly requested i'm very sorry if you can hear luna as always in the background who likes to just um yeah as i was saying this video was highly requested and it was how i managed to gain weight and how i went from being very very skinny i don't know using that word but that is what, what i was um to kind of the way i am now i am still quite small but it was nothing compared to how I was before and the reason people have been asking me to do this is because on my Instagram I posted a before and after picture um, of me in 2016 or 17 and then it was a picture of me one year later I think and then another one one year later which was last year and it kind of did really well like everyone was asking questions everyone was a bit like how the hell did you do that and I feel like a lot of people go through it and I feel like it's something that's not very talked about I feel like on the internet there's a lot of videos of how to lose weight but there's not really any videos of how you gain weight so that's what I'm here for and I'm gonna help you out um okay so kind of background story um in 2016 or 17 I can't remember exactly I will kind of put it on the screen the pictures I think I was maybe 50 kg so in the picture I took I was 50 kg but before I started that's when I kind of started to eat and I had gained maybe two kilos so I think I was actually 48 and I was probably what five foot seven at the time and my so my BMI was very very bad like it was very unhealthy it's one that you shouldn't really have and it was kind of in the red zone and I was so underweight for my height and my age which was quite worrying and then I met Eric and he was into the gym so he signed me up to the gym he paid for my membership and yeah we kind of started going to the gym and I just kind of went to the gym just to go to the gym but then I started to see that I was kind of gaining muscles in my legs and I started to see a little bit of a difference so I was like oh okay I like this I'm kind of feeling this so here's how I did it first thing you need to do is to eat <laughs> that's it that's the end of the video guys <laughs> have fun eating <laughs> I'm joking um, but yeah you have to be eating a lot you can't just be eating like your regular three meals a day that's not enough if you were at the stage that I was um, you have to be eating a high amount of calories like way above the amount of calories that you usually eat and I did make a video the other day and a couple months ago of me eating 2500 calories in a day and that is how much you should be aiming for if you want to be if you want to be gaining the weight sorry so it is quite hard in the beginning like in the beginning I could not eat properly I was eating little portions I would miss skip meals so many times and I think even Eric was a bit like this is not normal like you why are you eating like this and at the time I thought I was eating a lot but now I think about it I wasn't eating well so so yeah so I start eating more and more and I wasn't calculating my calories back then I was just eating I just ate everything that was in my sight I would literally just eat bread for the sake of eating bread like I'd eat a banana for the sake of eating a banana you know just if you're starting out like me you don't need to be calculating your calories but it is a good idea I wish I started to do that and not just eat all the junk in my house so yeah just start eating a lot um yeah so over so then I kind of just kept weighing myself and weighing myself and just every day I would weigh myself just to get that little 0.1 extra just because I started to get obsessed with gaining weight and it started, it started to get a point where I was insecure about it so I just kind of made sure I was hitting that target every day and just ate a lot and then yeah I started to see a difference in my weight. I would say don't weigh yourself every day because it is quite unhealthy to do that. I would say kind of weigh yourself maybe every month not gonna lie I wish I did that now I don't even weigh myself because I don't really care um but I would say don't weigh yourself because you don't so I can weigh 
I weigh a lot at the moment. I weigh 68 kilos, but it doesn't look like it. Like, I weigh more than a lot of people who you would think should be more than me, but I weigh more. So it's not about how you look, it's about the, the fat inside of you. So I would say don't kind of depend on the scale. Just kind of, just eat. And when you start to feel that you're gaining the weight, then you go on to the next step. And the next step is the gym. And I would say you can do, you can, because you've got the fat now, so we've established that. And now we want to turn that fat into muscle. And I, in the beginning, I was just skin and bone in my legs, in my arm. And you can see that in the picture. Like, it was, like, now that I look back at the picture, I'm like, what the hell? Like, it actually makes me sad. But anyways, um, but yeah, I was just skin and bones. So I had needed that fat to kind of transfer it to muscle because what, it's just skin and bones. And what am I turning? Like, what, what am I changing? Do you know what I mean? So I had to get, get the muscle, got the muscle, and then I started going to the gym. And... In a gym, I started to do actually heavy lifting, I started to do weight lifting, I started to do um, different weights on the machines, I started to build up my weights, I started to lift heavier, so I started with a minimum weight and then over time I went higher and higher. And then eventually I started to see muscles, and I started to see a booty, and I started to see arms, finally, and yeah. And eventually over time you will see a difference, it does take time. But I do suggest taking a picture, I always say this, take a picture the first day you are starting, like take a picture of you just raw in the mirror and just keep it for yourself. Maybe one day you'll post it, maybe you won't. I didn't think that picture, let me just go open the door. Sorry, that was my top order. But yeah, as I was saying, the gym. So you want to start going gym and I would say that, I know a lot of people ask me, oh is it possible to do it at home and I feel like you can gain a bit of muscles at home but it's not going to be the same as if you were going to the gym and that's just a, like the honest truth like you're not going to gain a lot of muscles at home because at home you can do squats and you can do lunges and but you don't have the weights that are going to build your muscles um so that's why i started going to the gym because i had the equipment that the gym offered me so yeah the gym kind of offers you equipment that you don't have at home and on top of that, in a gym, you've got multiple weights. So when I first started the gym, I started with the minimum weight and I struggled with that. And as I've said previously, with squats, I couldn't even do just the bar on its own. And it was a real struggle. And now that I think about it, I had to go through that struggle to get to a point now. Like, I can squat so much more. I can lift amounts that I find shocking myself. Um, and that's all because I built up over time. Like, it's not going to happen in one day. And I feel like that's what people need to keep in mind. That is going to take time for you to gain weight. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not, and it's a lot harder than losing weight. Losing weight, you can, <clears throat> you can kind of just run on a treadmill. Whereas, gaining weight is a lot harder. Like you need to eat a lot, and you need to have, you kind of invest in food, and you need to invest in meals, and you need to invest in a gym, and all that stuff. But it's worth it in the end because I'm very happy to the point where I've got it now. So I would definitely recommend and. Just don't be hard on yourself in the beginning. Um, so that's what I was saying. That's why I'm really happy I took that picture. Because the picture that I took on my first day of starting my weight gain journey, I did. I just took it randomly. I don't know why I took it and I just took it. And that's the only picture I have of me where I, you can fully see my body and you can fully see the way I was shaped. And I can now use that picture and compare it to now. And that's when I started to see a difference because I started to compare that picture and pictures I have now or pictures that I took last year. And that's when I started to see a difference and I was so motivated to do so much more and to kind of just eat even more. And that's why now I just keep doing it because I know that it's making a difference. Even though I can't see it, but I, can, I see it in my stomach. Let's not get that twisted. I would say a third way that I managed to gain weight was by drinking protein shakes. I think that protein shakes really helped me in the beginning. And I'm no, I'm no gym expert. I'm no... A fitness expert I'm no I'm no expert okay this is just from my personal experience and what worked for me so yeah so I started to do a protein shake and within a protein shake there's over a thousand calories in just that shake and it really fills you up like it really fills you up and the thing with protein shakes is it's a lot of protein and it will sit in your stomach that's why you kind of need to go to the gym and work out so that that kind of just works up you know you don't want it just sitting in your belly otherwise you will get a pouch which is what i've got now i won't show you but i've got a little pouch um see so yeah, i'm trying to get rid of that now 
and that's only because I've been eating a lot and I haven't been doing a lot of cardio and yeah you have to do cardio as well um, if you are kind of eating a lot and drinking a lot of protein shakes like I did um, in the beginning I didn't I didn't do it I regret it because I thought why am I going to run on a treadmill or do cardio because I'm going to lose everything I worked for and that's not true don't think like that because I thought like that and I regret it because you're just running on the treadmill you're not going to lose all the weight you gained you're kind of toning that all the calories I don't I'm trying to explain it in a simple way because I feel like certain people on YouTube just give all these scientific scientific terms so I'm trying to simplify it so yeah trying to work up all those calories so it doesn't just sit in one place because you're kind of eating all this food and all this protein and it's just sitting in your stomach and that's that fat is just sitting in your stomach and by doing cardio you're kind of you're kind of toning that fat and it kind of gives you that figure you know I hope I explained it well don't come at me yeah that's the main three things to be honest that's how I did it um I'm still not at the point that I want to I was kind of nervous about making this video because I feel like I'm not at the stage that I want to be like I'm still quite skinny I don't like using that word I'm still quite slim um but it's I'm very different to the way I was before that's why I felt like I could make this video because I've I personally think that the difference is major like from A to B the difference is major and I just feel like even yesterday I had to go to the doctors and she wanted to check my BMI just as like a kind of routine thing and she was like yeah your BMI is excellent is you are the perfect weight for your height for your age everything and I was so happy to hear that because back in the day when I first started this journey I was in the red zone I was it was, it was a dangerous zone so yeah I was very happy to hear that and I think that you should all kind of start by checking your BMI and I think you can get like calculate online as well just put your height your age and your weight currently and it will say what zone you're in and if you're at the weight you should be and just kind of keep that for your records and just keep write it down somewhere write it on your wall write it somewhere so then later on you can compare it and kind of see what, where you went from A to B yeah um, yeah that's it really um, I hope this kind of helped a bit I mean it's quite it's quite easy to say oh yeah just eat and just drink protein shakes and go to the gym but I feel like doing it is a lot harder than saying it that's why I'm kind of just putting it out there so people can just be like right start doing this this is and it's like I said it's not just eating you need to be in the right things you need to be in you need to have protein in your meal you can't just be eating junk food so please don't go eating junk food and make yourselves have diabetes just please just eat protein just eat the good stuff that can help you gain weight I researched um, all the products that would have a lot of protein in it because protein will help you gain a lot of muscle and there was a lot of things and I started to buy all those things, I started to eat all those things combined um, and yeah make sure you eat the right stuff and then like for gym I would say make sure you're doing the right workouts, make sure you're targeting the right muscles and obviously there's a lot of videos online that will help you do that there's a lot of um, videos that will help you target your glutes, your hamstrings, you need to be targeting every area of your body oh that's the other thing I was going to say when you go to the gym don't just work out on your legs because I know that one thing I really wanted when I wanted to gain weight was just have a booty well I had a little booty but I wanted like a good booty and I wanted some thick thighs and I wanted some legs just in general because they, they were non-existent um so I started to just hit leg workouts every day like every time I go to gym I'll just be leg 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 and don't do that because if you're just working out your legs you're gonna have very petite arms and it's very disproportionate to your legs and that was me in the beginning and we don't want that so make sure you're working out all your body so make sure you do one kind of split your workouts into days so maybe one day you can do leg day all leg day like if you want that's what I do sometimes I'll just do all leg day and then on another day you can do so maybe like on a Tuesday you could do shoulders and then you can go back to your legs but you can just target your calves but then calves is very limited in workouts so you can kind of mix calves and abs and you can mix put a bit of cardio in there so you just need to mix it up a bit don't just be working on your legs make sure you're targeting these bad boys and the bad boys down there and the fat and the chest <laughs> so yeah that's all for this video um i hope this was helpful if you have any more questions i haven't answered 
um, let me know in the description box below and I will be I'll try to answer everything I think I've answered most of the questions that people ask me like the main question was how did you gain weight that's the main thing that people ask me and this is literally what I did to gain weight um, and it worked so I'm sure it worked for you I feel like it worked for me it worked for you so just do all the things I said and let me know just send me the pictures in a couple months I want to see those bodies and yeah I will be back soon for another video I might film one now to be honest let's see let's see how I feel but yeah, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching and I love you all and see you very soon. Bye.